to celebrate the 25th anniversary of was, was a, kind of a reaction and a, and, and a tribute to the loss of somebody that we all knew and, and that we all loved. And so uh, I feel a certain triumph seeing this many people come to see us play this record in that uh, one, of, one of the objectives was to get people to, to hear and seek out and find and be exposed to uh, Andrew Wood's music. And uh, because you guys are here, I know that you all have done that now. Uh, so we sort of got that done, and we're doing it, and we did it. Uh, and, and so there's, in the course of, of, of writing the album, you know, there was a lot of different imagery, and a lot of it was, was about Andy, or what was stuff that was inspired by Andy. Uh, and and uh, there were there were a few steps outside of that, and one of them was uh, this next song, and and uh, another song on the album that just kind of deal with at the time what I was hearing a lot of televangelism and bullshit. I had a '69 Ford Galaxy with uh, only an AM radio, and it was broken, and the radio was stuck on a religious station, and all I heard all day long were preachers basically saying the same shit, which is that everything's gonna be okay, you're gonna be fine, and you're gonna live forever in paradise if you send me 20, 50, 100 bucks. And, uh, and that was it. That was the message that, that uh, they were sending people all day through this little fucking mono speaker on the dashboard of my 69 Galaxy, which, by the way, was exactly the streets of San Francisco car that Carl Malden and a young, beautiful Michael Douglas drove around. They'd actually get air off of some of the streets on that fucking car. There's no way that car could do that. It was 18 feet long. Anyway, this is one of those songs. It's not about being anti-religious. It's about being anti-bullshit, anti-people who take advantage of other people who want to have hope. This is called Your Savior. Yeah. 